Hi YouTube, it's Raven here and I'm coming at you today to talk about my hair care regimen. This is my first video and so I thought talking about my regimen would be very appropriate so you can know what I do and how I do it. So let's start with my shampoo. I do shampoo and I use the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo. I use it every week to two weeks. Uh, especially if my hair needs it, I will use it every week, every seven to nine days. That's what I consider within the week. Now, um, I really love this shampoo. Uh, I just started using it very recently, and I've already seen great results with my hair. Now, following my shampoo, I condition with the Shea Moisture uh, Restorative Conditioner. All my products are not Shea Moisture, I promise. <laughs> Uh, uh, I put this, I break this through my hair and I also detangle using finger, I finger detangle the conditioner throughout my hair. I do not use a comb on my hair. I haven't used a comb in my hair for actually for a really long time now and I believe it has um, really affected my hair in a positive way. So yes, I, condi I condition and finger detangle my hair. <laughs> with this and uh, while it's while it's in my hair I'll finish you know doing my business in the shower and then I'll rinse it out now after rinsing out my conditioner I can choose to do a wash and go or I do a twist out or a braid out now depending on which one I do I will use a different set of products and so I will start with my wash and goes Okay, so after washing my hair and rinsing out the, con rinsing out the conditioner, I apply the um, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie to my hair. And um, depending on how I apply this in my hair det um, determines how tightly curled my hair will be. I will go into further details about that in my next video which I promise to you ladies and so you will get it as soon as possible so apply this to my hair followed by the Elastic QP glaze I'm going to use the glaze as a styler to help set my curls and this also defines my curls as well now before the smoothie this would define my curls but not as tightly so I just simply use this to slick down edges but I've discovered if you pair these two together they work amazingly <laughs> so yes this is wash and go now from there uh, to maintain my wash and go I pineapple at night uh, I stole the pineappling method <laughs> oh, excuse me uh, I stole the pineappling method from mahogany curls yes mahogany curls um, I know other people have done pineapple methods, but I pretty much imitate hers. Now, uh, I will wash and go for a couple of days, and I might refresh it. Um, if not, then I'll do a dry twist out or a braid out. Which brings me to my next set of products. Uh, for um, my twist outs and braid outs, be it from a old wash and go or straight out the shower, uh, styling, I apply a very small amount of the Argon Oil by Cream of Nature. By a small amount, I really mean small. I'm talking a penny or a dime size amount of oil. And I just pretty much rub it throughout my entire hair. And then for actual styling, I just part my hair and apply Lock and Twist Gel to my hair and style as usual. And that is it for my regimen. That is all I do. I have a total of six products. Let's see, shampoo and conditioner. Uh, products for wash and goes. And my products for twist outs and braid outs. And that is it. Uh, I don't have a... My regimen isn't as deep as, oh, I'll wear, you know, twists for a couple of days and then let them out. I usually style my hair as I want to style them. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, 
So, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, also with my twist knots and braid outs, I do maintain them by doing the pineappling method. I do not retwist them at all. Um, I will pineapple for a couple of days, and and then depending on how my hair looks, I can either that's that's when I retwist it, or I would just wash it and start my week all over. Well, ladies, that does it for my hair care regimen. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to um, feel free to leave a comment below, or you can also check out my blog yb and n dot blogspot dot com. And if you follow me on Tumblr, you can also feel free to send me a message as well. Uh, I'm always looking for requests on video, so if you have a request on anything that you would like to see or any questions that I can answer, feel free to let me know as well. Uh, so yes, that does it for my first video. I hope you ladies, I hope you ladies enjoyed it, and I will come back at you with my next video on how I style my wash and go.